Hello my soccer universe. Let's do the last one for the international break, meaning we have here a lot of international jerseys all from Europe and now I'm gonna take them down and put the club jerseys up again. But I realized there are three jerseys up here that I haven't covered in the video yet. So let's look at least one and the other two will do the next time. I don't know if I will get European jerseys up until then, so we might as well look at it. What am I wearing? I'm wearing the France jersey that I was wearing also in uh, uh, this morning's video on qualification explained. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, which jersey? The very last one. And I actually think this is... Uh, the other ones are also really nice. So I, I don't want to say it's the best one. They're all from 2016 though. Uh, this is the Switzerland 2016 away jersey. I've been wearing this in quite a few videos so far. And you know, I have visited Switzerland. My brother is currently living in Switzerland. But you know, as an Austrian, you're always a little bit envious of the Swiss, especially in soccer, when you think that Austria has the deeper history in soccer and then Switzerland comes and is very, very, very good. Then there's an envy factor there. So, you know, the other thing that I always didn't like with Swiss jerseys was they're kind of bland. It's red, then you have the Swiss cross here, Puma here, done or they're white and they reverse it um, and then they come for Euro 2016 with this beauty. I'll pull it a little bit further back. Absolutely an amazing design. First of all, my favorite part of this one is that the Swiss cross is actually a feature that's here on the band. I think even if it was just the band, this would be already a superior design to what uh, was before. The Swiss do wait a little bit the Swiss cross. You always have this little Swiss flag somewhere there, which is square, is tiny. Just make, you don't need the flag necessarily even on the um, home jersey. What you need is make a circle in white and put the cross on it or just have the cross there. I mean, this is such an iconic feature of your national identity. Use it. But Puma added more and it's not here. A lot of straps on the bottom that get actually a little bit thinner so you have a nice um, zoom effect or you know fade effect in there that I absolutely love um, and gives makes this jersey instantly exciting on my blog I think I gave this jersey 10 stars uh, fully deserved I have to say uh, so that is great then also the sleeve cuffs match up very very nicely with this band so that's another plus for this jersey the only downside is that the color we have only here red, the red doesn't wrap around as we will see, uh, as we see. And that maybe is the only downer, maybe also here the ventilation on the side is kind of cutting through the pattern, but those really, really small potatoes. Um, yes, the Swiss need a, need a new crest. I actually find it somewhat smart when you saw it earlier because here's a Swiss cross in there and so they had they kind of were using this to hide the cross. It's not great. It's not great to be honest. I think use a coat of arms again just use something else but at least here we have the cross. What I didn't expect is that and I don't know if you feel it or whatever this is a plastic transfer cross. That I didn't expect. I thought this is just printed on. That was a little down when I got this jersey. The other things, but I knew that I only get this from a player's uh, version. There is a sponsor up here. Yeah. You saw me opening this jersey. Uh, I really want to get this, especially for the Nations League Final Four. So I needed a Switzerland jersey. I always knew that this was this one in a classic football shirt, which is where I got this from. Had only this version with name and number. Maybe the number up here makes it a little bit too crowded and also I'm not super fond of Mbolo uh, Not because I dislike him because I just know too little of him But then yeah, uh, it adds to a nice jersey. I actually like this number font used a lot uh, Well, not a lot, but I, I think I like it over, overall. I like this this slight 3d effect on the seven, uh, the center line within the letter, well, we can discuss that, but I think it's not a bad look overall. Uh, again, um, given that here we have the cross, the number here in the center, that's fine. This 
is the one thing that I really would like gone and that the color wrap wraps around. There's another really nice detail that is unfortunately not seen. Do you see these colorful crosses uh, making the outline of Switzerland? That's what I really didn't like and it kind of shows it that we are multi-culti nation. Something that of course is contested politically as well. Overall a damn fine jersey. Uh, Switzerland hasn't had an exciting jersey since the early 90s when they had a really crazy jersey by Pony that I actually didn't like that much. Uh, other than that it was all kind of well, yeah okay. This is your Swiss jersey. Neutral and inoffensive as the Swiss are. I always say this, the Swiss are so neutral that even their jerseys are very neutral and don't cause any emotions. This one to me lots of emotions. I mean just look at the beauty. Look at this beauty. It's an absolute gorgeous jersey. Um, let me know if you agree with this. I wish that Switzerland is wearing something like this forever. I also have to say when I saw this, it reminded me a little bit, and since the Euros 2016 I play France, of the France 1984 jersey, where there was also the blue jersey with the red, and then there were uh, three white uh, bands, which we also saw at um, 98 France winning the World Cup in that one. So maybe that was an inspiration for that one. Absolute gorgeous design. Again, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this jersey or and or this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jerseys from my collection or my reviews of jerseys or games that are being played. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!